we have this little squirrel wearing a sweater sitting on mushrooms. Or do I have to pull this? Aha, let there be light. Some of you guys have messaged me saying that you've actually started wrapping gifts already. And I'm like, <gasps> and I'm like, I have not done that yet. Don't tell Larry, but we might put it out. In fact, while Larry was out yesterday. Larry, can you hear me? Good morning, everybody. And welcome back to a brand new video. Today, I'm going to share what I picked up that is Christmas related at Hobby Lobby. And I'm also tacking on a few festive Christmassy bits that I picked up whilst I was visiting my best friend, Angela. We stopped at Marshall's and I may have purchased a few things over there as well. So it's kind of a combination festive Christmas haul. I asked you guys if you wanted me to film it. You said absolutely. So I'm here to film that. And then also I'll be linking this sweatshirt down below. I had told you guys that I ordered a couple of Christmas sweatshirts from Etsy. So this is one of them. I thought it was really cute. It's a take on like Starbucks festive drinks. I thought it was perfect. So I'll have that linked down below as well. But first let's get started with the festive Christmas decor. And first I'm going to start off with this pillow, which is actually from Marshall's. And I love the green. I don't know what it is about this color this year, but I'm obsessed. I also stopped at Victoria's Secret and picked up a bra in this color. And when we were ringing out, the girl at the desk was like, I'm obsessed with this color. And I was like, me too. And my best friend Angela is also obsessed with this color. Something about it this year, this is the trending color. It's this foresty green. And the girl at Victoria's Secret said that they think they're calling it emerald green as well. But I just thought it was classic. It's simple, it's Christmassy, but also you can hang on to it around winter and it is such a plush pillow. They only had one. There was a girl that picked up the other one. I wanted two, so I had a symmetrical thing on the couch, but we were able to score one, so I'm happy with that. And if I see one out and about, I might pick up another one. So adding a Christmas cushion to the bunch this year. Next is an item that I picked up for Larry. I surprised him with a Ray Dunn, I believe is what this is. Yes, of course. The hot chocolate. I loved the lid. How cute is this? So you guys know that Larry is a huge fan of hot chocolates. He does not like coffee. So I thought he could have his very own hot cocoa mug when he's having hot chocolate and we're watching a cozy Christmas film. So this is for Larry. Is it dishwasher safe? Let's see. Dishwasher safe, awesome. It may get hot in the microwave, so check on that. Next, oh man, you guys. I saw so many comments of you guys being so proud in one of my last vlogs where you were like, I'm so proud. Did you guys see Mindy walk past the mug section? I did in Hobby Lobby, but I didn't <laughs> in TJ Maxx. I didn't, I didn't. I found the cutest, again, with the color, this green color, but guys, it has, <laughs> has a little cardinal on the top. Look at her. And you guys know I love cardinals. They remind me of my grandmother. So I picked it up. I couldn't help it. This is by the brand Lang. So it was cute. All right, next from, oh, this is also another TJ Maxx, I believe, or Marshalls. And it's a nutcracker mug. I did not make it past the mutt, mutt, the mutt section, the mug section in there. I couldn't help myself. But look at how beautiful this is. It's very ballerina nutcracker and I just thought it was precious. So really couldn't help myself. I loved the colors on it too. It is quite large, like this is a huge bowl. And I was like, what am I gonna put in that? Like my coffee is gonna get cold in five seconds because I'm the world's slowest coffee sipper. Um, so I could put oatmeal in here though, or soup or cereal. It's just such a big mug, but it's also kind of cute to have your coffee in. So that is that. Okay, now switching over to Nope, we have one more mug and then we're gonna switch over to Hobby Lobby. We have this little squirrel wearing a sweater sitting on mushrooms. I could not help myself. It's a very light mug too. Guess I'm gonna have to go through the mugs, guys. I have a mug problem. It's a thing. You guys know it's a thing. Thank you so much for noticing how well I did in Hobby Lobby. However, I failed at TJ Maxx and I'm sorry, but how cute, how cute are those freaking I almost called them marshmallows. How cute are those mushrooms and that squirrel? And there's also a little snail on there. So I couldn't leave it there. So he came home too. All right, now moving on to Hobby Lobby. Also everything at Hobby Lobby, 50% off. So here we go. I thought four cookies for little snacks for breakfast. Again, huge fan of the Nutcracker. I used to go to the play when I was little. So I got this. This is by the Robert Stanley collection, if you guys are interested. And I picked out three of them. 
So they had three colors. I've got the pink, the black, and the red. The brand had several different plates, um, so there's many, many options. All right, next we have the most cute platter. They only had one of these left. My mom saw it, she walked past it, then I saw it and I snagged it. Um, she, my mom's regretting walking past it and I'm like, well, we can probably trade off year to year. But how cute is this plate? It's like a, it's a very nice platter as well. It's got some weight to it, but it's just classic. And this is by Slaybell Bistro. It is microwave and dishwasher safe. And I just thought I could put really anything on here. I could do veggies, I could do cookies, I could do cheese, a roast, whatever. It's just perfect. Okay, next we have some lights, which are gonna go with the garland that I purchased, which if you guys saw that vlog where I went to Hobby Lobby, you'll already see that garland, but I should probably go grab it because it's in the bedroom. I've got three of them to hopefully have them fit up in the kitchen. This that truck scared me. This year I want to put garland in the kitchen above the thingies, the cabinets. And then I picked out these lights to go with them. And they're the DuraWise Micro String Lights Indoor and Outdoor Use. They're battery operated, which was very important because it had to be battery operated because we don't have plugs above our cabinets. So let me go grab the garland, show you what that looks like. It's very cute. I think it is. It's just, it, it's very classic. Ow. Ooh. Ooh, everything hurts. Ow. Hi, Luna. Okay, here's the garland. So just a classic green garland with pine cones and red. I love the red and the green. So got three of these. And then the plan is to wrap those fairy lights or technically they're not fairy lights. They're DuraWise micro string lights. Wrap it up in here and have it above the cabinets. How magical is that gonna look when they're on and I wake up really early in the morning at like 4.30 a.m. during December to edit the Vlogmas vlogs and then film later? <laughs> I'm gonna walk into the kitchen to make my Christmas coffees and this is gonna be lit and it's gonna be magical. Also, I have to say, I did get a couple of Christmassy ornaments from Hobby Lobby a while back, but there was a lady that I saw this time that was like, I come every single week, like a couple days a week because they put out different stuff and they totally do. Like it was crazy. I'm like, I did not see this before. This was not here last week. Sneaky, sneaky. So make sure you're checking. Not that I'm saying go every day and go every week because I don't know if I would have time to do that, but I'm just saying just because you see stuff once, if you go back in like three weeks, there's going to be different stuff there. That's what I'm trying to say. All right, moving on. Oh, I'm so excited. Okay, so this is super simple, very white, very clean, but I thought next to my coffee maker, and that is because my coffee maker is big, it's clunky, it's black, and I'm like, I wanna kinda brighten that area up, especially early in the mornings. Oh, an ad popped up on the TV. So my plan with this is to maybe put like a Christmas tree or a bottle brush tree. This does light up, although I think the batteries might be dead, I don't know. Or do I have to pull this? Aha, let there be light. Look at it, it's so cute. It even comes out the chimney. But I just thought it was precious. It's like a ceramic. The rooftop is nice and pretty and glittery and I love that. Oh, I'm so excited. Don't tell Larry, but we might put it out. In fact, while Larry was out yesterday. Larry, can you hear me? He might be sleeping while he was out. I washed the bedding and there was Christmas bedding on the bed. <laughs> the sheets, not the comforter, but the sheets. I have festive related sheets on the bed and it is so exciting. Although they're not the softest. They're 100% cotton and they are like scratchy cotton. So that's something, but you know, <laughs> that's fine. All right, so next we have soft peppermint puffs. You guys know I have that Honey Dukes jar and I like to put seasonal candies in there. So I had candy corn in there for fall. It's actually still there. And then I thought these would be nice. So they're just like little classic buttermints that are really, I don't know, I like them. I like that they're soft, they're tasty. It's a pop of peppermint. So pick these up. And then this pillow, oh my gosh, it's so precious. I think they have it at Hobby Lobby, but I'm pretty sure I purchased this at Marshall's when I was with Angela. How precious are the little deer? So we have a mama deer and then we have the baby and I love the color. I love how it's simple. And then on the back side, if you wanna do this side, that's really pretty too. So I just popped this in my office chair, which is in my office. I usually have that chair here, but I haven't put it back yet because the Halloween tree was there and then 
we're gonna be putting the Christmas tree there. And I'm like, I am not moving that heavy chair. We're just gonna leave it until the holidays are over and then we'll move it back in the spring. But this looks so good on the white tree. And then my mom was like, you should put it on your bed. Like it's gonna match perfectly with your bedding. So it might bounce back and forth between both places. But again, super duper cute, very precious. Um, and then I found a puzzle. So Larry and I went to Hobby Lobby a few weeks back and I wasn't really thrilled with either any of the puzzles that were out. He wasn't either. When I went this time with my mom, they had a bunch of new puzzles out and I always like to try and sit back and relax during the Christmas season and do a puzzle. Usually I don't really have the time. I'll be honest. I really just, I just don't have the time to sit down and do the puzzle, but I do try. And then it usually gets done after Christmas, but Larry will whip through it. So um, I found this one. I thought it was classic Christmas morning or like Christmas Eve when everything's very magical. It's just really cute. So you got the Christmas tree, the presents, the little teddy. You have Santa in the background with the windows and the snow. I just thought it was beautiful and it's only 500 pieces, I think, right? Yeah, I got a smaller one because I didn't want to be like <laughs> stressing out over the puzzle. So I did get a 500 piece puzzle. Very excited to put that together. Let's be honest, Larry will probably play probably be putting most of it together. Is that it that's in that bag? Yes, okay, moving on. Oh guys, okay, so we got cookie tins. Last year, you guys know, or maybe you don't know, you didn't see, but we did a Christmas cookie baking at our house with my family last year, which was really fun. I pulled a lot of my grandma's recipes and we made all of my grandma's cookies. Not all of them, some of them. Um, so we didn't really have many tins. My parents brought over tins that they had, but we don't have any really here. So I found these and I thought they were so cute. They're little gingerbread tins. Put your cookies in. Um, they had some that were see-through, like clear, so you could see what kind of cookies were inside of the tin, which my mom picked those up. She really liked them a lot. I thought about it, but I was like, oh, I'm just gonna get two matching tins. So I did get two of these. They're decent size too. Um, yeah, Mrs. Claus gingerbread bakery made with love, baked fresh daily. So we got the tins. Now moving on to this bag, which were purchases that I probably purchased when Hobby Lobby first brought out their Christmas supplies. Couldn't help myself. So I don't really remember what's in here. I think it's ornament focused. Let's see, I'm excited. Have you guys started your Christmas shopping? There's some people, some of you guys have messaged me saying that you've actually started wrapping gifts already. And I'm like, <gasps> and I'm like, I have not done that yet. Um, but let me know where you're at. How you feeling? How you feeling about the holidays coming up? I'm excited. Also nervous though, because I know it's gonna go super fast and I always love to enjoy and savor it, but every year it flies by and Vlogmas definitely makes it fly by even more. So, all right, let's see what we have in here. Oh, he, oh, I forgot I got this. Okay, so we have a little pine cone ornament on this side, but inside, how beautiful is that? We have a deer with some presents and some white trees. I thought that would be beautiful. Let's see what else we have. Gotta roll up the sleeves. Oh, this is pretty too. Oh my gosh. Okay, so I definitely, it appears that I went with a glass theme this year. This is a clear. Yep, definitely a glass ornament with silver and white snowflakes. A lot of you guys ask me every year, how do we keep the cats off the tree and away from the tree? Luckily, Luna and Lexi don't climb the tree. They actually both love just sleeping under the tree. Thank goodness, because for some reason this year, I've started buying glass ornaments and I know that that is dangerous, but luckily the cats stay away from it. So, oh, this is a heavy one. Oh, it's just, it's just beautiful. Okay, this I believe has a power button and it lights up. Okay, so you have your beautiful snowy owl. There's a little light in there. You've got snow on the ground and beautiful white pine trees. Love this. Kind of reminds me of Hedwig. This is a big ornament. Feels like a big glass ball. Oh my God. <laughs> what am I gonna do with this, guys? Am I gonna put this on the tree this year? I don't know. Or are we gonna find a different home? Lights up, let's let's pull the plug. Okay, I'll give you guys the first look of pulling out the plug. Here we go. Oh, that was very, nothing happened. Why didn't it happen? Did I turn it off? <laughs> What's happening? <gasps> look at that. Oh, I love it. Oh, it's multicolor changing. Guys, we could do so many things with this. Like you could put it, just rest it, you know, and have it sitting on a nightstand as a nightlight. There's so many things you could do with this. Do so many things. Put it in the tree. Who knows? 
this glass? Yes, it is. <laughs> Love that. Ooh, I think we have another snowy owl. Yes, we do. Wait, no, no. It's a deer. It's not an owl this time. It is a snowy deer in here. Popping her head up. Very sweet. Hi, Lexi. All right, guys, I think we're down to the very last item in this haul. Feels very light, feels glass. Oh, okay, so this is cute. It's like, oh, it's simple. There's nothing in it other than just, oh, there's, it lights up again. Okay, so let's see. It's kind of a lantern, I'm guessing, with pine and holly. Oh, okay, these, I'm obsessed with these, though. These little lit, I mean, they're just, they're beautiful. Oh, so festive. It's just... It's just very festive. But guys, that was everything that I picked up that is festive related, I think, I hope. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this haul. I will link the sweater down below. I'll do my best to link some of these items down below. But again, a lot of things that Hobby Lobby, TJ Maxx, and Marshalls and all those stores have, they don't have them online. So my advice to you is instead of me listing them, my advice is if you like any of the items, I would check out the stores, see what they have and just happy holiday season. It is here, this is my favorite time of year. October through December is pretty much my favorite time of year. Technically now it starts in August because they start bringing stuff out then. So August through December, best time of the year. All right guys, I hope you enjoyed and give this video a thumbs up. If you did enjoy it, leave me a comment down below letting me know how you liked this video, what your favorite item was, and I will see you guys again very soon. Bye.